Hi guys, it's Numistaka and uh, cast your mind back to 1815 and the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, I wasn't there myself, I guess i fairly safe to say that you guys weren't there either. But uh, in 2015, then uh, there was a celebration of the Battle of Waterloo, 200th anniversary, and as part of that anniversary, there were a number of coins and medals produced, and I'm very lucky to have uh, some of those uh, with me today that came in for grading. Unusually, they came in their complete um, OMP packaging and with books and stuff, so you guys get to see a little bit more than you would otherwise see. This first one is uh, very interesting. This is the, um, the accurate, almost life-size rendition of the original Pitstrukey medal. And uh, let's have a look at the book that came with it. So, number 1273, and there were 1815 of these um, maximum medal mintage. Whether they were all produced and sold, I'm really not sure. It seems like a lot, um, a big addition for this kind of pretty specialist item. So, um, I don't know. Uh, it'd be worth finding out whether there were fewer of them actually made, or whether they made the whole mintage and s sold the whole mintage. But it comes with a very nice uh, booklet, and the booklet shows uh, paintings of the Battle of Waterloo, shows the main protagonists, gives you all the history of what happened to who and how it panned out, and uh, probably not great reading for the French, but, you know, I mean... What the hell. But if you like reading about the history of these things and getting the full story and the background, uh, then, you know, why not get one of these with all the original booklets and read about uh, Pistruchi's work? And it's, um, it's really interesting. And you can read here the story that um, the actual re real original medal was actually much larger. Um, and it was uh, pretty much a work of art that took ages to engrave. It was so complicated, they couldn't actually produce it. Um, none of the original medals were ever struck by the mint. The uh, When they tried to make them, I think the dyes kept breaking and cracking, and I think maybe they just didn't have the technology to actually make something like that uh, with that level of detail at the time. But uh, 200 years later, the Royal Mint resurrected the original artwork. And uh, with that original artwork, they downsized it a little bit. And uh, they kept the detail. And they managed to then mint a, I suppose, a kind of replica, you know, pretty much a replica of the original Pistruchi engraving. And uh, they, they produced an absolutely beautiful work of art, which is, uh, which is really fabulous. It's uh, the second or third time I've seen these medals. Um, I've had a couple of in, couple in for grading in the past. They've both got 69s. There's a tiny little speck up there at the top, but uh, the, the feeling is that maybe this might be the one that gets a 70. Um, probably it's more likely to get a 69. I think maybe the quality wasn't quite high enough to get lots of 70s on these medals but we'll see you know we'll see what uh, what they do and what they say at the mint so uh, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed for that one uh, i just want to jump to another coin which is also celebrating the battle of waterloo and uh, this one was one of the standard fiat coins so the other one the first one was a medal this one is a coin and uh, let's take a look in the box so what we have is another booklet and this time it's a miniature version of what was the uh, the booklet that came with the medal it's uh, cut down in size cut down in uh, uh, stature contains a little bit less information but you get the gist of the history of the uh, battle of waterloo and the uh, main proponents a story of fearless men the duke of wellington um, 
the Prussian army general Napoleon Bonaparte, Marshal Michael Ney, Napoleon's right-hand man and most trusted commander. And then there's a little bit in here about the uh, the medal itself and coinage and uh, all the kind of other background on the design and designer and everything else um, to go with this particular coin. Uh, this is um, a an original design for the Royal Mint, uh, nothing, no, nothing based on one of Pistrucci's designs. What you've got is uh, a standard size Royal Mint commemorative in silver with a slightly larger mintage, 3000 minted, maximum coin mintage. Um, you know, it's uh, the, the crown size denomination, five pounds. Uh, it's, it's a nice size, chunky, silver coin and a lot of people collect this size coin for commemoratives um, it's not something i particularly collect but i think that uh, regal stacker whose coin this is is a big big fan of waterloo and does collect a number of these commemorative coins and i've got a few in uh, for grading at the moment including a really really nice one the king canute one from this year which i'll show you in uh, one of the next couple of videos but uh, you've got another beautifully made coin from the mint. Um, then uh, our adorable queen on the back, as usual. Um, pretty much don't need to keep turning these things over because she's always there on the back of the coins. And uh, you know, generally, it's a nice one to have in the collection. Um, it's not one that I particularly would have bought myself, but a lot of people, as I said, a lot of people are big collectors of uh, Royal Mint commemoratives, and they do seem to sell out pretty quickly of everything that uh, they put out there that is of a good quality. So let me know what you guys think and uh, please like, subscribe and carry on commenting.